Alright guys, time for another team builder. Um, I've never done an OU team like on Showdown, even just messing around, so I decided <clears throat> to do an OU team uh, as, a, as my next team builder, because it's uh, new to me and uh, you guys, so I thought that was pretty cool. Um, I didn't know, I always start off just like, what Pokemon do I want to build this team around? And uh, Mega Alakazam was just like, disgusting to me base 175 special attack, base 150 speed, and uh, just great coverage moves. So I was like, Mega Zam, uh, you're the one I want to go with. Uh, this isn't the spread that I use for every battle, I used it for a couple battles, but basically here's uh, was my thought processing. Let's see if I can go through here. So base 150 speed, and uh, I hope you guys will just take my word for it. The only Pokemon that come close to that speed are Mega Lopunny 135 and Mega Manectric 135. So if we go into Mega Manectric, we go for 252 speed with a, a positive speed nature, it maxes out at 405 speed. So Originally, the speed that I had with Mega Alakazam was 136 positive nature there, and then it topped out at 407. So I, I tried to speed creep everything and keep it. Um, then I had uh, the rest of these points here in, it, in HP. So that's how I had the spread for most of the battles. But then I was just like. Mega Alakazam, we built this team around you, and you're basically not doing your job. And your job is to, to just destroy things in one hit. And uh, also at speed everything. So, basically I was like, okay, 407. Like, that's the speed where we need to be at. And then basically you have to be Choice Scarf to beat Mega Alakazam. But I was like, you know what? It's, it's, uh, it's not doing enough damage. So, I was like, screw it, we're going to go with a Modest Nature. And uh, speed is what speed is, kind of thing. So I topped it off at uh, like this and did a uh, 399. So those megas are still outspeeding me, but uh, I mean the odds of encountering them and like fighting them are pretty much zero. I would not mega Alakazam to be fighting those two Pokemon anyway. And uh, yeah, I just wanted it to be destroying more because obviously you can see it's 493 special attack, uh, and then without the the boost, it's only. 449, so I wanted to give those extra uh, special attack points, because then Mega Alakazam started doing his job a bit better. Anyway, um, I was like, alright, dark types are an issue, so I wanted a good fighting type. And then uh, Terrakion was my choice there, it's a rock fighting type. Uh, and since I wanted it specifically for dark types, like knockoff, things like that, justified, uh, I was just like, so that's what sold me on this Pokemon. Uh, it wasn't just the fact that it was a fighting type, it was uh, the fact that it gets stronger from dark types. Uh, so I got the Life Orb on there and some decent coverage moves. It's got its two stab moves, Earthquake, because everyone runs Earthquake. And uh, since fighting is weak to Fairy, put Poison Jab on there just to, like, if somebody tries to throw in a Fairy, I can hopefully predict that, get a Poison Jab on. And then we were running a uh, positive speed nature, try and make it faster, because I felt like with Life Orb, potential justified, it was uh, it was already like really, really strong physically. I uh, never really changed that around. <clears throat> Looking at it now, I might want to just like do this, <clears throat> and like not care that it's slow, because it was getting us by a lot of stuff, and this way it just is guaranteed to knock out more things, but once done is done, I'll keep it the way it was. Uh, next, what were we thinking? I just wanted a, a good this guy. I just wanted a, another good Pokemon that was uh, defensively good and kind of took care of uh, Terrakion's weaknesses. So here is our uh, big physical wall. It's uh, got maxed out uh, defense. Well, I put a little bit into attack so that knockoff wouldn't be doing nothing. I made a, an adamant nature instead of making it a defensive nature. Because that defense would have just been disgusting. Uh, probably would have come in real handy actually, but uh, knockoff actually came in really handy too, so I'm glad I had those uh, attack uh, points there. It's got Iron Barbs and Rocky Helmet. 
Uh, so if you if you're using any physical moves on it, you basically lose a quarter of your health every time. Uh, and if you're using move with recoil, uh, you'll see a Talon Flame didn't fare too well against uh, Ferrothorn. And then a Leech Seed on there, because it needs recovery, and I really wanted a Rocky Helmet, so I didn't want to put Leftovers on, so I made it a Leech Seed uh, set. And then it's got its uh, Stealth Rock Spikes, just a set up, huge wall, and then knock off, uh, you know, just uh, instead of putting Giga Drain or whatever on there, I just wanted it to be knocking things off. Alright, so next, uh, I wanted another uh, attacking Pokemon slash... Uh, Ferrothorn's super weak to fire, so I had to cover that, and I wanted to cover it with Gyarados. Uh, made it a choice Scarf user with Moxie, and uh, obviously it's got uh, Waterfall on there. There were a lot of times when I was battling that I wish I had uh, Ice Fang on this thing instead of Crunch, or any of the other moves really, because it would just come to a moment where it was like, well, I don't have Ice Fang, so since I don't have any Ice-type moves, I'm pretty much screwed. So, I'm, I'm done battling this guy for right now, but if I was going to continue, Crunch I never used, and Ice Fang I wanted, like, quite often. Um, I think that's its best ice move. Physical ice move. Yeah, Ice Fang. I mean, Avalanche is better, but since I'm running a Choice Scarf user, most likely uh, not going to come in handy, the Avalanche. And it's obviously a, a physical set, as you can see here. So... Um, I went a little overkill, I think, with the speed. Probably could have just had it, like, here and been, uh, completely fine. Yeah, I like that a lot better, actually. Don't know why I wasn't running that, but anyway. I guess I was Choice Scarf like that to add speed, potentially some other Choice Scarf users, but I think, I think like this is fine. And, uh, be hitting a lot harder, so. Wish I was running this, uh, this way the whole time. Then there's a uh, Glasgow. <clears throat> I, I was looking at the team, and I had Ferrothorn, but I was like, all right, like we're pretty uh, physically offensive. We don't have a lot of great walls, and I just love Glasgow as a wall. It's it's just amazing. You put Poison Heal, Toxic Orb on there, so it's uh, getting healed really good. I do uh, max special defense, max HP, and a little bit in defense, positive special defense nature. So uh, not a lot's getting through this Glasgow unless you have a nice tight move. Has a was it two immunities? It's immune to electric and ground. I didn't put any uh, flying stab on here because physical flying moves are garbage. And uh, so it's another knockoff user. Uh, I don't usually, usually I'll only have one knockoff if anyone with knockoff, so it's interesting that I have two on this team. I protect to get up the poison heal and also, like, uh, not stall, but, you know, sometimes Glass Warrior can live a little bit more and all it needs is to. Uh, Protect to get that Toxic Orb heal, then Roost again, and then it's uh, pretty much unstoppable. If knock off an Earthquake, it can cover a lot of things. It's Glass Core for MB MVP, you'll see in some of these videos here. And then uh, finally, I wanted another wall, slash, uh, it's like a mixed attack wall. So um, I gave it Substitute, Protect, Flamethrower, Flash Cannon, so it's two best uh, offensive moves that have stab there. I also gave it Flash Fire because um, <clears throat> I was like, well, I have. Ferrothorn, and I've already covered the water weakness with uh, Gyarados, but I was like, oh, what if, A, like, what if instead of just, like, taking minimal damage by resisting it, what if I fully had Flash Fire and just made Heatran's Flamethrower is absolutely disgusting. And also, since I have Glasgow, Gyarados, uh, Ferrothorn, and Terrakion that are all uh, physical attackers, I was like, will o -Wisp kind of sucks for us, so if I can predict a Will-O-Wisp, get Heatran in there, then that's absolutely golden. So, yeah, it's a bulky slash attacky set. You see IVs here. Um, made it have big ol' special defense, for whatever reason, just felt like special defense is better, because I, even if I max out its defense, it's not going to be living an earthquake from anything, and that would be the only physical move I'm like actually super worried about. Um... Looking at this, I think it's a pretty good set. You might uh, either go more uh, defensive with it and take out the special attack in HP, or uh, take out the special attack and put it in uh, defense. You know, you can move that around a bit, obviously, but I like this. Uh, okay, so we changed a couple things here uh, on our Gyarados 
And oh, okay. I had Ice Fang, Waterfall, Earthquake, Stone Edge. As right, so another thing I forgot to mention uh, in Showdown, uh, it, it keeps your ability as whatever the first thing there is. Um, he's only got the one ability. So like for, you know, instead of anticipation, it would be iron barbs. Obviously, you want iron barbs anyway. No one uses anticipation. Uh, so the first uh, ability that Alakazam has is Synchronize. Uh, obviously, you can run it. You can run it in your focus. I prefer Magic Guard. I kept meaning to change that as well. So basically, all the changes I made were uh, Magic Guard instead of Synchronize. Um, you can play around with this. You might want to make him uh, more attack than than speed. Absolutely nothing wrong with that. Make him adamant. So then he can destroy things. He's already pretty good at destroying things, but anyway. Uh, then Gyarados, give it Ice Fang. Uh, you're going to miss Crunch sometimes. Like, not miss the move. Like, it will land, but uh, sometimes you're going to want Ice Fang. Sometimes you're going to want Crunch. You know, some, you know I... Uh, I was tempted to get rid of Earthquake, but like, we're incoming electric types, you know. But you, if, you ha if you're like me and you have Glasgow on the team, you're probably fine. So, uh, Crunch is a better option there. It's better coverage, I find. And uh, da -da -da -da, I think that's all we really changed. Yeah, yeah. So, changed the coverage, made this guy beefier instead of faster, and uh, makes Rakion beefier instead of faster. Beefier? Uh, better able to punch, I guess, is what I want to say, because ne neither of those are really English, but anyway. And then uh, Magic Guard instead of Synchronize on uh, Alakazam. Alright, guys. Alright, so in our first battle here, we lead with Therothorn against this Klefki. It's going to set up spikes. We're going to knock off. I knew it couldn't do much to it, but I was like, I'm at least getting this item off. Uh, then we're paralyzed, and unfortunately, I don't get to set up a Leech Seed or anything, but I'm like, you know what? We're never going to be able to beat this thing, so let's just switch into Glyscor, get our free uh, Toxic Orb up, start healing. Then uh, just Earthquake away, switches into his Caesar, takes it pretty well. Uh, you'll find uh, the Caesar is definitely the most annoying thing for my Glyscor. Uh, but we can definitely uh, win a Stall War here. Like we're, That Bullet Punch is clearly its strongest move against me, and it's not doing anything. So just staying in, keep going for Earthquake, sends in his uh, Bi Sharp, and uh, I don't know why he'd switch it in. I thought to myself, then I realized his whole team is uh, Steel types. So I was like, oh shit. Uh, I would have let Klefki go down and get two sicker, Sucker Punches in, but that's just me. I wanted to scout with the, this Mega Gross, <laughs> Mega Gross, Mega Meta Gross wanted to do. Send Headbutt, I was like, alright, Heatran can take that, no problem. And as you can see, it does. I'm like, all right, flamethrower, take this thing out. But it has hammer arm and uh, absolutely destroys us. Uh, crit did not matter, as we know we had no special. And uh, here is why I mentioned uh, you want magic guard instead of synchronized for all these entry hazards. They can just ruin Zam. And also why you want max special attack, because that should have been a dead mega gross. I'm just going to stick with that mega gross. So realizing Glasscore is pretty much my best Pokemon against this team now, because since Earthquake can take out everything on his team, I just switch it in, and I'm like, all right, one more and it's down. Nope, it has Roost. So I thought it was a choice band set, and maybe, you know, you get locked into whatever and I'd be able to take it out slowly, but he's clearly a different set. So I wanted to figure out what he had exactly, so I went to knock off, but he goes for U-turn. Luckily, I get a good chunk of damage there, and I'm like, all right, let's uh, knock off something else, but nope. Uh, this... Uh, hidden power whatever just took us out so I'm like all right back into MVP Glyscore here you can take out these things with Earthquake takes out that uh, Excadrill pretty easily and I'm like all right now we can finally take out the Scizor next time it comes in uh, I think I can live one of whatever this thing has and uh, yeah that's a good chunk of damage it would have been able to to take us 1v1 pretty decently if it landed a couple hits better so it goes for bullet punch just for damage figuring I'm going to go for Earthquake but uh, I go for Roost, which is a stupid play. Because if it had have been like, maybe he'll go for Roost as well, he could have Roosted and stayed in there forever. But luckily, uh, he went for Bullet Punch twice, and we were able to take him out. And now uh, his team can basically do nothing to me. And Glass Square stays in, takes out... Uh, I don't know why he went for Toxic there. Maybe he was predicting me to switch. I don't know why he'd predict that, though. Anyway, take it out with uh, Earthquake. I figure two Earthquakes, and this thing's down. But actually just one, because it doesn't have Sturdy, so that's kind of random. But anyway, pretty handed win. Glass score definitely the MVP in that first match. And... Uh
All right, so starting off this next battle, Levani coming in, and I'm like, all right, Steku Web is obvious, but I'm just going to go for a knockoff, get rid of whatever weird item you have. It was a focus sash, so clearly some kind of suicide lead, but uh, not too worried about that. I was like, okay, we can't really handle this thing too well, so let's go into Heatran, and it decided to go into Gardevoir, so it worked out pretty well for us, I thought, so I'm just going to go for a flash cannon here. But it's carrying focus blast, so I was like, well, shit, we just got uh, kind of our plans got crapped on there. So I need to get out of here and go into Glyscor, but he predicts that, goes for Hyper Voice, and I'm like, well, crap, uh, we we need some, some health back, because I'm, I'm like, if that was a main roll, it could take us out, it's like a 2% difference. So staying in, and I'm like, all right, let's take this thing out here with uh, a knockoff, in case he wants to switch, but he lives on 1%, so I'm like, crap, uh, let's just get some more HP back. And uh, then we're going to have to switch out into something that can take a Hyper Voice. And I'm thinking uh, Ferrothorn, definitely the best one to take this. So it comes in, and he predicts this, goes for Focus Blast, and um, misses. And then goes for Focus Blast, misses again. I'm like, oh, the Poke Gods are smiling on me. Arceus lets me take uh, that Mega Gardevoir out with a knockoff. That's huge. Then this Pokemon comes in. I thought I'd go for uh, Flare Blitz right off the bat, so I just wanted to sack it off. Because here, when it does go for Flare Blitz... Look at Iron Barbs, Rocky Helmet, Recoil. Takes it down below half, but luckily I also got Stealth Rocks up, so this thing can't switch out, and it's just going to go down to a Choice Scarf Gyarados Waterfall. And now we got the Moxie up, so this thing's pretty threatening looking, but I cannot stay in on a Roserade locked into Waterfall. So I go into Heatran thinking I can take whatever Giga Drain or whatever, but it goes for Sleep Powder predicting a switch. This guy is a smart player, uh, or girl, I don't know. But it has hidden power ground, I assume, and takes me out. So I'm like, okay, we, uh, we're in some trouble here. But Glasscore can take this thing. Uh, that Giga Drain does more than I want it to do. But luckily we are able to live and uh, stall this thing out with Protect and Heals. And then uh, I'm like, all right, what are we going to do against this Roserade now? We barely live. Going to go for another Earthquake. No, we go for Roost. We go for Roost, uh, and then we're in much better shape. So I'm like, okay, we can definitely win 1v1 against this thing. So now that we're going to go for our uh, knockoff, get rid of whatever item it had, because I thought this guy has something making these uh, Giga Drains so strong. Uh, does huge damage to that Starmie, and I'm like, all right, let's take it out. We can definitely finish it off of knockoff. But then I was kicking myself, because I was like, that's stupid. That Scald could have taken us out. If it had a Hydro Pump instead, we definitely would have gone down. So predict a fake out as this Persian comes in. Uh, get our, our heal up, and then I'm like, all right, Earthquake coming your way. And I was a little bit worried, as like, maybe a return could take us out, but clearly its strongest move that it has for us is Shadow Claw. So I'm like, okay, we can stay in on this thing all day, let's roost, get back to full, and uh, then go for an Earthquake to take this thing out, as it just Shadow Claws. And uh, now it's down to his last two Pokemon, and he realizes there's no way to win, and he forfeits the battle. So in this battle, the opponent leads with Mew, I lead my Heatran. Uh, he goes for Taunt, thinking I'm one of those Stealth Rockers, which I'm not, so I just go for Flame ro Flower. And uh, he basically wastes a turn there, but then he goes for Knockoff. I'm like, damn, good move. Because now my Heatran has no recovery at all, and that's I really rely on the leftovers. So I was going to go for another Flamethrower, but I thought he'd predict that, so I go into my Gyarados, thinking that uh, Waterfall would be able to take this thing out in a couple hits. But his Charizard's carrying Will-O-Wisp, but I'm like, wow, now you've made Heatran and Gyarados pretty much useless in the first like three moves so this guy is playing for keeps here go for a knockoff uh, this thing had a, a shell bell which I thought was really weird but you know it's good to see like new new tactics being used instead of the same old same old uh, gets Heatran with a leech seed and uh, I switch out because I'm predicting him to switch out so Gyarados comes in and Gliscor comes in so pretty good matchup for me go for uh, Waterfall but he predicts that back into Fair of Horn I'm like, well, at this point, Gyarados is pretty much useless, so I'm just going to go for Waterfall, get the like little bit of damage that I can get. But he's like, Leech Seed, because he knows I'm not going to be around long and wants to take my health. So pretty smart there. Uh, we've ended up doing like nothing with Seraphorn. As I go for close combat, his Glass Score comes in, takes it really well, obviously, and now I'm pretty down, so I'm like, crap. But I decided to stay in, because I didn't think he'd think I'd stay in, so I went for uh, Stone Edge there. And he does go for a Swords Dance, so now I'm like, okay, well, poop, another Stone Edge should take this thing out, but we miss as he switches into Theraform, so really not doing well, but I'm like, okay, maybe he'll predict me to switch or whatever, so I just went for Close Combat, and luckily we take out the Theraform. Now Ladius is coming in, I'm like, okay, Tracheon's clearly MVP right now, I need to keep it alive, 
going to Heatran, takes that well. And I'm like, crap, he's going to take me out with Psy, Psy Shock. <clears throat> but he actually takes me out with Draco Meteor. So I'm like, wow, it doesn't even matter that I missed the leftovers, even though I, I did miss the leftovers anyway. Uh, I go for a Leech Seed on this Mew. So I'm like, I feel like this is a healthy matchup. I can take this thing one-on-one. -on -one. But unfortunately, that taunt really makes Ferrothorn kind of useless. So I go for a, a knockoff just to get rid of its uh, leftovers. But now I'm like, all right, it's got Roost. There's no way we're going to be able to take this thing out. Got to switch into Gliscor. And uh, I think uh, its knockoff will do a bit more damage. It's really the only thing I have for this Mew that I feel comfortable switching in. But uh, it turns out it's just a uh, switch into T-Tar. No choice Scarf, but it still outspeeds me. And that Ice Punch... Uh, basically means I can't stay in, but I do want to go for a Protect, get that little bit of health, as we've seen me do many, many times with this Glass Gore. So now I've got to switch out into something that can take an Ice Punch, obviously Ferrothorn, and with Iron Barbs and Rocky Helmet, this Tyranitar is going to be all the way down to 2%, so I'm like, okay, just going to go for a knockoff, or, <laughs> oh man, I go for Stealth Rocks, because I'm like, feeling like it can't do anything to me. And then, uh, luckily he goes for will o -Wisp there, Charizard. <clears throat> doesn't do anything to me, and I'm like, I can live, wrong now. Glass Core gets taken out, and then I'm like, okay, Alakazam, it's part Dragon, Dazzling Gleam, should be able to take this thing out, but no. See, this is why I made those changes I, I said earlier in the team builder, because Alakazam just did not do its job. Sure, it took out Charizard, but only by using its body to blow the thing up. Anyway, more taunting on my Ferrothorn, I predict that, just gonna go for a knockoff, get some damage off. Now I'm thinking a Roost is coming, so I feel pretty safe switching into Rakion. Goes for Will O Wisp and misses luckily, and Stone Edge is able to take this thing out. But now it's a uh, we're we're not doing too great here. So I, I switch in Ferrothorn and can take whatever Latios has. And uh we're gonna go ahead, go for a uh what do we go for here? I think we went for Leech Seed, but it doesn't matter because he switches into Rantar. And uh, now Glasscore's in, so I'm like, all right, let's go for another Leech Seed. Looking good. And uh, this thing is just going to start setting up on me. Swords dances. I'm like, all right, fine, I don't care. I'm going to set up all my spikes so that when we beat you with uh, Terrakion, your Latios isn't going to be able to defeat us. But uh, things are obviously looking pretty grim when uh, that's your train of thought, thinking that's actually going to work out for you. So this thing is uh, plus four right now. And that Earthquake is obviously just going to obliterate me. It's at basically full health, and Terrakion comes in, and uh, its Stone Edge is nowhere near enough to take this thing out. So that's game there that we uh, lost. That a, was a good battle, though, so no, no problems there. Alrighty, so our final battle here, Infernate coming in against Gyarados. Thought I could take it on, but nope, Thunder Punch coming in. And uh, obviously it was Twist Scarf to be able to uh, speed my Gyarados, so I send in my Ground Type. Now I'm going to go for an Earthquake, free Earthquake, and uh, a knockoff combo because I knew it was a Belly Drum Citrus set, and if I had have gone for uh, another Earthquake, it would have got Citrus up and then been able to Belly Drum, and uh, that Aqua Jet probably would have taken us out, so uh, it was a better play what I made there. I uh, go for another Earthquake to finish it off, uh, but Dragonite does come in as I was fearing and gets no damage taken, so I just go for a knockoff, get rid of whatever item it has because I figure I can take any hit from this thing, but after a day dance I'm a little scared, so I switch into Ferrothorn, take whatever it has, it's going to go double day dance I'm like, alright, that's how you want to party? That's your strongest move against me. Really? We're going to leech seed you. That's how life is going to be for you. So realizing he can't beat me, he switches out into Heatran, and I'm able to get my rocks up. I'm fearing a fire move, so I go into Gliscor to take it, and he gets his rocks up. So a nice little exchange there. Uh, Earthquake going to almost take this thing out, it goes for Taunt, and I'm like, oh, Okay, go for Taunt, but I'm predicting this Dragonite to come in now, so I go for another knockoff. Does like nothing, but I didn't feel safe switching in Ferrothorn in case he uh, wasn't going to switch into Dragonite, so just wanted to go for knockoff. Now Ferrothorn's in, brings in Heatran, Heatran dies. I guess he's scouting out what I'm going to do, but I figured he'd do something like that, so I went for Spikes, and things are turning out pretty good for us there. Infernape, figure in a Fire-type move, but actually goes for Close Combat. Either way, Gliscor is our... Uh, our wall against this Infernape. So we're going to go for another Earthquake. Okay. Um, I was a little bit worried about that Dragonite, but that was that was the better move to do. Oh no, I was worried about it, so I went for Knockoff. Silly me. Rewatching these things, I should really have a better understanding of what I'm doing. But anyway, goes for a Leech Seed. And I'm like, alright, Glasscore, you're not really going to be able to take out this Venusaur. So let's send in Ferrothorn, because 
Uh, Venusaur is not going to be able to take out Ferrothorn, and it's obviously going to be like healing up on us, which is fine, because all I want to do is get all of my layers of spikes up. So I'm like, fine, stay in with your Venusaur. It's all good. Works for me. Uh, now that I have all my spikes set up, I'm like, okay, Heatran, now's the time to come in. Uh, misses its Leech Seed, but then it gets the next turn after it's beating me, so it's kind of irrelevant. Uh, get my Substitute up. Uh, this is kind of unfortunate that I'm losing health there, but uh, it is good <laughs> that I have my Substitute up. So I'm feeling pretty confident. Take out that Dragonite with a Flamethrower, and now I'm like, don't lose any Leech Seed or damage from Leech Seed. He kills his Assumeril needlessly. Kind of a stupid play. Should have saved that for uh, fodder. But, uh, yep. I know I can take this thing out with another Flamethrower, not take uh, damage again. Close combat, definitely the wrong play, because he might have been able to live one Flamethrower, but I don't know, they're pretty fail. Maybe I'm wrong. It's predicting uh, the Thick Fat uh, Venusaur to come in, but it didn't. And uh, luckily for me, I can just go for a Flash Cannon and uh, take this thing out in two hits. It's going to be a little bit annoying, though, and stall me out, because it has Leech Seed, it has Leftovers, and it has Protect. So it's going to Protect and uh, almost get enough HP back to survive another Flash Cannon, but despite his Valiant effort, it's going down to Flash Cannon. So Heatran v Venusaur, and I'm like, okay, this thing, it has Synthesis, so it's definitely not going to, it's going to be fine against me, but I want to get a burn on this thing, kind of like counteract all of its uh, healing. So luckily I get the burn, like 10% chance, and I actually get it. So I'm really lucky there, but Heatran, you've done your job, can't do anything else. Uh, I send in Terrakion. I basically wanted to fodder this thing off, but ended up living a hit, so I get an Earthquake off. Basically what I wanted to do was have Terrakion come in and be killed so that we could get in uh, Mega Alakazam, and Mega Alakazam can finally do its job and come in and destroy things. <laughs> so yep, Psychic is basically one of the two types that can actually hurt this beast, so luckily I have Alakazam, and we take it out with a huge win. Go us. So that's it for this episode, guys. Thanks a lot for watching. Uh, let me know what other types of showdown teams you'd like to see in battles, and uh, if you'd like to see the format change in any way. Uh, but like I said, thanks a lot for watching. This has been Brother Arcanine. Have a good one.